In this exercise, we will be talking about creating page fragments. So by the end of this exercise, we will have learned the following. Firstly, how to install the NPM LifeRay Fragments Generator, how to create a collection and an editable banner fragment, as well as how to add editable elements to the fragment by using the editable tag. First, we'll be installing the NPM Fragments Generator. We'll add a Livingston Fragments project, and then we'll add a collection in the new project folder. We'll also add the main banner fragment to the collection. We'll open the index.html file and add a background image. We'll add the fluid section in the left column. Then we'll add the banner heading as well as the banner lead text. We'll add two buttons for discovering and booking. We'll make the heading and lead text editable. And finally, make the buttons editable. After this exercise, there will be two bonus exercises that I won't be going through, but that you can try for yourself. And this includes creating a new collection using the fragments generator and creating a new fragments using the fragments generator. Make sure it has editable elements. But with that, let's get into the exercise. For this exercise, we'll start by installing the NPM fragments generator. So we'll open up the command prompt or your terminal, depending on which operating system you're on. And you'll run the following command npm install g generator life rate fragments, and you can follow along on my screen. And we'll be installing the 170 version of this. This will prompt the installation. After this finishes installing, you can run the yo command, see which generators are installed. And you can see that I have the theme, the bundle, and the fragments, which we just installed. And so if you don't have the theme and bundle, that's okay, but you should have at least the fragments. I'll control C to get us out of here. Now we'll be adding the Livingston Fragments project. And so you will have to navigate into your LifeRay folder. If you're on Windows, how we structured this was in our C drive. So you can find your C drive and go to the LifeRay directory if you're on Mac or Linux. This will probably be in your user home directory and you'll have a folder named LifeRay if you set it up the same way that we did. But you'll navigate into your LifeRay folder and you'll run the following command, yo LifeRay fragments. And this will create a project for us. This will prompt us for a name and we'll call this the Livingston fragments. And then we'll choose no for a sample content. And from here we have the structure ready to create fragments. So now we'll add a collection in the new project folder. We'll go into the Livingston Fragments project folder in the command line or terminal. If you type ls, you can see that we have the fragments folder just generated. We'll cd into it. And from here, we'll run the following command npm run add collection. And this will ask for a collection name. We'll type Livingston front page. And when it asks for a description, we'll type in Livingston front page fragments. So from here, we'll go into the front page folder in the command line or terminal. I'll ls so we can see. We'll have to navigate into the source folder. And then from here, we'll see that we have the Livingston front page directory in here. Within this directory, source Livingston front page, we'll run the following command npm run add fragment. From here, 730 is the minimum that we want. So we'll type this in. And for the fragment name, we'll call this 01 main banner. For the fragment type, we'll choose section. So we'll just hit enter. And then for the collection, we'll choose Livingston front page. So we'll hit enter. For this next part of the project, we'll be using Visual Code Studio. So we'll open up Visual Studio Code and we'll go to the user snippets menu. So if you're on Windows, you'll find this in your file, preferences, and then user snippets down here. If you're on OX, this should be in the gear icon and there's a user snippets. For here, we're going to find new global snippets file. The drop down menu and we'll type in LFR page fragments for the name. Now from here, we'll click save just so that we have this stored. And now we'll have to add the snippet content. 
And so from your module exercises folder, you're going to open up the page fragment snippets.json. So I have this open page fragments snippets and you'll open this up and you'll copy the entire file. And then within your visual studio code, you'll replace all of the commented contents of the snippets file into the file we just created and we'll hit save. From here, we'll then open up the index.html file and add a background image. And so we'll have to go to our O1 main banner folder. And so this is in the, the fragment that we just created. So if we go to our LifeRay directory, we'll see in our file explorer that we can open up Livingston fragments. We'll go into source and Livingston front page. We'll see that we have the O1 main banner. So from here, we're going to open up the index file within the Visual Studio Code. Now we have sample code in here. This is 01 main banner. We're going to delete this and then we'll type in LFR and then we're going to choose 06 beginning image div. From here, we're going to then add the fluid section and the left column. So after this first div, we're going to hit an enter. So I'm going to actually base it on line three and then I'm going to come up here. And then we're going to hit tab to place an indent and we'll type in LFR. And then from here, we're going to choose 07 add container left column. And then we'll click this and this will insert the section tag with a div inside of it. We'll have to add a banner heading afterwards. And so after this first div within the section class, we'll add a new line. And then this indented for us so we don't have to tab ourselves. And then we'll type in LFR again so that we can insert a snippet. From here, we're going to insert 08 banner heading. And so we'll see a header class right here that says Livingston Hotels and Resorts. We're going to add banner lead text. After the closing tag, we're going to hit enter again. And this will put this on the same level as our header. But we'll type in LFR again so that we can insert a snippet and we'll choose 09 banner lead text. So right after the header, we'll have a paragraph class that includes a short description under the Livingston header. We'll then add two buttons for discovering and booking. So after the closing paragraph tag, this slash P, we're going to hit enter again, and then we'll type in LFR to insert another snippet, and we'll insert the 10 banner buttons. And we'll see here that we have a div class with a button group that we just inserted. There's two buttons in here and both are links. Our anchor tags right here. Now we'll make the heading and the lead text editable. And so we're going to place our cursor after the H1 class display for tag right here, after this tag right here. And then we're going to add two attributes within the H1 tag so that we can make the text editable. And so we'll have to come into this tag right here, so not outside of the bracket, but we'll type in data LFR editable ID is equal to header one. And then we'll also space this out. Data LFR editable type is equal to text. But this will allow us to be able to edit the header text with these two attributes. Now we're going to place our cursor in front of the get ready text. So right before here, we're going to add another tag right here. We're going to type in LFR editable ID is equal to body text. And then type is equal to text. And with this tag, we'll also close this tag. So we'll copy this, we'll cut this out. And then we'll put this after the paragraph text. And so with this editable tag, then we'll be able to edit this text within the display. Now we'll save the file to make sure our changes persist. Now we're going to make the heading and lead text editable. So first we're going to find the H1 class right here. And after display four, but within the brackets, we're going to type in some more attributes to make this editable. First, we're going to type in data LFR editable ID, and then we'll set this equal to header one. 
and then we'll add in another attribute data lfr editable type and we'll set this value equal to text within parentheses and so we see that this is within the h1 tag and these are two additional attributes we'll do this for the lead text too so right here within the paragraph tag we're going to type in two more attributes we're going to add in data lfr editable id is equal to body text and then data lfr editable type i'll auto fill this in set this equal to text as well and with this this will allow us to edit the paragraph contents as well we'll then make the buttons editable and so we'll add additional attributes into the buttons so we're going to find the anchor tag where we have the href and we're going to place the cursor right after the href attribute and then we'll add the following attributes we'll type in lfr editable id is equal to first button and then data lfr editable type We'll also set this equal to text. And so what we're doing here is we're allowing the text contained within this anchor tag to be edited. So not so much the link, but the text. And then we'll do this for the second anchor tag as well. So we'll add an LFR editable ID is equal to second button. And then we'll add in data LFR editable type. I'll autofill this is equal to text. And like this, we should be able to edit all of these from the header, paragraph, and then the button text. We'll save the files and then this will be editable. Mm -hmm.